Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray back at it again. See that we are covering session two of control surfaces. This is a very, very, very deep subject. And I hope to be able to break it down in such a way where you can assimilate it in a very easy and digestible way. You have to watch the video that I made prior to this. Very important that you do simply because it will give you the foundational understanding to be able to create something as extensive as we're going to create today. I'm using the Novation Launch Control XL. You don't necessarily need a MIDI controller like this. As long as they have note on and off messages, then you are good to go. And that can happen by way of a rotary knob, zero to 127 on the far right. That can also happen by way of a slider, again, 0 to 127 or you can have a note on off message to like bypass a plugin or do things of that nature where you're toggling something on and off now this subject in and of itself is not covered well i mean go ahead look around try and find somebody that's doing simplified versions of the subject matter you're really just not going to find it and so if you watched the last video, you know that I have a way of breaking down information that is clean, succinct, clear, where you can apply it right now and you can start to get back to work with your music production. The goal is to be able to assign plugin parameters that are on a template so that every single time you open up that template or you import specific project settings, you can access them right away. For example, let's say I start working on a session and I pull up Space Designer. Doesn't matter if it's on the channel strip or an auxiliary, if I start playing with this first knob, you can see that it's directly connected to my pre-delay. The second rotary knob is linked with length, the third one to size, and then this slider here I decided would be best be connected to wet. Sometimes it just comes in or it comes out too hot. And I want to be able to control that level. So what I'm going to do right now is map the next series of parameters to this specific plugin that is channel strip specific. Now, before I do, I just want to point your attention towards the windows that are in the background. You have the controller assignment window and the key command window, and this is where most of the action is going to happen. Predominantly, we're going to be inside of the controller assignments window because most of this is happening automatically on this end. And if we need to assign something that is a bit more specific, we'll transition over to this other window. All right, so with that being said, let's look at the controller assignment window. We can see that we've already mapped the pre-delay. Can see that it is a channel strip and we are looking at the selected track i've tried playing with a couple of other settings and these seem to work the best and seem to be the most consistent we're also working with length as i showed you size and wet all right so let's go ahead and assign a couple of other parameters so you have to think about this and you will be limited by your controller now if you only have one button available to you, I highly recommend you check out that last video because I do talk about automation quick access. So for now, since I've already covered pre-delay length and size, I think what I'm going to do is get these four. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to start from left to right. And so what I do is I click on the parameter. I probably move it around a little bit just to make sure that logic is looking at it. I hold command, then L, but I continue to hold command. So once I click on the L button one time, I let go of it and I continue to hold command. So here we go. Command, I'm going to click on L one time for learn, and then I let go of L, but not command, and then we start to turn that rotary knob. Here we go. Okay, so there it is right there. And so what this does is it gives me the crossover point so that I could assign the low spread, anything below 
this meter and then the high spread anything above that so let's assign these other two we'll click there command l don't let go of command a low spread has been assigned as you can see here on the left hand side and then let's do this guy okay good and then contrary to popular belief i actually like to assign the dry slider because it gives me more control of the sound here we go all right pretty sweet so let's go back up here and let's label these appropriately so this can be considered somewhat meticulous work but check this out now anytime i open up space designer in fact let me go ahead and open up on this next channel strip this is another aux because it's selected and those are the terms of the signal see how it says channel strip selected check it out so that is the lesson if you have this set up in such a way where you're using the selected channel strip and for the most part you're going to be using scaled i will show you a user case where you can toggle and bypass things on and off that's pretty much it you just have to make decisions about what's important to you at this time i really want to learn space designer i know it's a top-notch reverb and that if i invest the time it will pay off in dividends and so that's where I am. What do you need to learn? Maybe you already have a reverb you really like. Let me go ahead and show you my workflow down here.